Hi there, in the next couple of tutorials we're going to set up a turbidity meter using a micro bit and a couple of other parts including a turbidity sensor. Here's my initial code that we're going to use to get the raw data values from the meter. Note that it's inside a forever loop and I've created a variable which I called turbidity and it's going to read the data that comes through on analog pin P1 on the micro bit and it's going to show the turbidity value, then it'll pause for a second so that you can read it, it'll clear the screen, it'll pause for another couple of seconds, and then it will loop around and go through the process again. This isn't our final code, but this code will give us the initial values so that we can then go and change them to values which make more sense to us. So our goal is to create values between 1, which is very turbid, and 10, which is very clear. So I'm going to download this code onto the micro bit and then plug my turbidity sensor system together and let's see what sorts of values we get. Here is my setup for my test to see the turbidity of the water. I have my turbidity meter. It looks like this. It plugs into this little circuit board as you can see, the red wire goes into 1, the blue wire into 2, and the yellow wire into 3. The other half of this little circuit board, hopefully you can see that a red wire plugs into the V for voltage, and that goes to the 3 volt on the micro bit, just here. There is a G for ground, and that goes into the ground on the micro bit, just here. And there is a... A for analog and that analog carries the signal and I've plugged it into number one on the micro bit there. One thing to be aware of this turbidity meter isn't waterproof above the blue cover so you don't put the whole meter into the water you just need to put from about here down into the water I have some demineralized water here that you can see and I need to calibrate this little meter so I'm going to turn on the micro bit as you can see a couple of little LEDs light up at the moment it's just giving a reading in the air but that's not really how it's meant to work I'm going to place the turbidity meter into the water about that much and let's see what number it gives seven Zero six. If I turn it around, seven zero six. So that's the demineralized water. And now I'm going to find the turbidity of something that I know has a much lower reading, and that is milk. So here I have a cup of milk, and when I place the turbidity meter into the milk, just wait till it gets a new reading. That reading is 6. So we've gone from 700 down to 6. And I'll just wash that milk out. That means that something in between will have a number somewhere between 6 and 706. So here I have some estuary water. And I'll test the value of that. And it should be somewhere between the 6 of the milk and the 706 of the demineralized water. So I'll place that in, let it get a new reading, 171. Again, I'll wash that out. And now I can change my initial code so that instead of giving the values between 706 for demineralized water and 6 for milk, I can make them values between one for milk and 10 for demineralized water. For you to see this, make sure you watch the next video.